never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. Stay forever when you're lying in my arms. My heart is open, it just took some time. Now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken. Emma and I have gone out fishing again. Do some more shore, shore fishing. Just went and got some bait. And we'll see how it goes. Only a little bit of uh, incoming tide left. Oh, Emma's got something. Give a look. Catfish. Catfish. Oh, there's something there. At least they're having a bit of fun, I guess. <laughs> Heaps of stingrays and um, little shovel nose thingies swimming past. It'd be good if I had a spear. I don't have a spear. <laughs> I had a spear, I think someone borrowed it. I'm missing. Oh, look. There's a, um, there's an old catfish someone caught. See those spikes? See those spikes? One up the top, one on the sides. Dangerous. Don't leave that on the beach. What do you got? Oh, <laughs> big shovel nose. What's the stick behind you? Gonna let it go. Born in the red dirt, the red water. See with the big high tide. <laughs> See with the big high tides and boom. Because we got these big pin down cliffs. See the pin down red cliffs. So when the height, when the tide comes up, it bashes up against that, and then you get the red dirt in the water, and you get that tinge from the red to the turquoise into the blue. That's broom water, broom ocean, broom coastline. <laughs> I think I said I forgot my spear, or oh, someone stole it. <laughs> someone borrowed it and didn't return it. But I didn't forget my gerber. This is a gerber. A machete. So, plenty of trees around the bush here. I'll see if I can make something, make a little spear and use that to get a stingray. See how we go. Just walking along this dirt track looking for a suitable enough tree to make a little spear out of. Oh, I might have found something. down the beach and sharpen it up and see if I can get something. <laughs> Here's Emma. She's moving the gear because the tide's coming in quick. Today is 10.6, 10.6 meters um, high tide. 
there on 12 o'clock. The low tide was this morning, oh, you know, sunrise or something. I think it was like 0.5. So we get pretty big tides up here in Broome. Even bigger as, as you go a little bit north, Derby. While I'm still alive, live bait, gonna have a fish until I see a stingray and then I'll grab it with the spear. Try it out anyways. Big stingray. See, it's flicking his tail. It's got a barb there. Gotta get rid of that. That's the barb. gets poked with that. Make you really sick. All that sticky stuff on there. Anyways we'll keep that, I'll have a feed.
pretty windy, so chose a little spot inside the gap there. Bit of windbreak. So heaps of wood. I'll use this stuff here as lint to get it started. And um, we'll cook them up. Got this old, got this old, this old lighter in our fishing box. Still seems to work. Give it a go. And we're still fishing. A bit high, <laughs> bit of a bonfire going on. That's all right. Nothing wrong with a good bonfire. I didn't end up needing my spear to get a stingray nice and sharp. Ooh. Now I know the next one. That's what it's all about. Mm. I'm gonna finish this off. And then head home. <laughs> oh, tide's gone out. Pretty much done. Just out of feed of that stingray. Emma's looking around and stuff. But the whole time we were here, I didn't even notice there was this turtle skull right here. <laughs> There's like heaps of crap all along here. All along here as well, old people used to live here, you know, a long time ago, so it's heaps of midden sites. Heaps of shell all along here, old shell, like hundreds, maybe even thousands of years old, all along the whole coast. Plenty of history here, old water places, fresh water places, I mean. Plenty of feed from the bush, it's deadly. Take the time